Hi friends, my name is Ankur Jain and welcome back to Tax Support channel. In this video, we are going to achieve a use case and we will show how we can create an editable table in Visual Builder, which is a very common requirement in each and every web application where we need to create a table and from this table, we can update record directly. So that is called editable table. So let's see how we can achieve this in Visual Builder. So here we are going to create our web application first and then we will create our business object as an employee. Then we will create a custom time from endpoint URL and then we'll create a variable of array data provider. We are going to drop a table component on a web page and associate with variable which we created in our earlier step. Then we are going to add a new column on the table and then drop button component on that particular new column. Then this button will be used to save corresponding record into the database or into the business objects. So let's see how we can achieve this use case. So let's go ahead and log in into the VPCS application first. So here I have created an application called editable table and here under this, I have created a employee business object and here I have created some fields like first name, last name and a age. If you go to the data tab here, you see I have populated three records uh, like Andrew Yang and 45 and other records. So let's start it and let's get started and create a new web application and I will name it editable web app and simply create click on a create button here first i am going to create a type as i mentioned in my ppt type from endpoint the endpoint is just take a endpoint from business object which is my get get uh, endpoint and this is a get endpoint employee slash employee id click on a next and here whatever column you want into this particular type you can choose like i'll say id my last name my age and then first name and i can rename it as get employee i and select click finish here you will notice a uh, get employee type has been created and under this uh, variables are there the fields are there which i have selected you can edit this type and you can add more field into this particular type data if you want now switch to the variables i'm going to create a new variable i'll say get employee variable and here i will select the type as a array data provider and click on the create button now just select this get employee variable and here i will select this array will be of my get employee type and here i will select the primary id will be id so this is how you can create a type and variable so what i have done i have created a type first uh, with the endpoint and selected age first name id and last name and then created a variable of array type and this array having a object of get employee now <clears throat> go to this action now i'm just going to create an action chain click on this action chain i'll say fetch employee listener and I click on a create button so here this listener will be opened and i will say i will drop the call rest endpoint here and here i will select this drop and will select this get and select now i'm going to drop a assign variable here and under this assign variable just click on that assign expand this call rest endpoint drop this uh, <clears throat> expand this body and under items you see item zero and all the fields and here this is a page variable which we created and you see the data item zero so drop this item onto the data and save now go to this events tab and create one event i'll say this vb enter 
just select and here i will say this will be fetch employee listener and simply click on a select button so i have created one type variable and then listener and then event now go back to the designer and here i will drop a table component onto the web page you select a user search a table the search a table and now go to this quick start and click on add data here select this employee and click on a next and here i'll say id first name last name and then age and simply click on the next and then finish now you see all the data has been populated now go to the data now what i am going to do is instead of taking data from this employee list stp i am just going to fetch the data from my type which is my get employee variable so you can take this and you can say just replace this and then refresh so you see the page has been refreshed now what i will do select the table and will make this table as edit table so go to that all and from here select search edit and make it edit more more row edit now just click on the refresh and here what i am going to do i am just going to create one more column just select this table and go to the data and here you can select just go down and here just edit column and you can see new empty column here if you see this column has been added and i'll say action now just go right hand side and select search button and then drop this button here you see all the button has been added corresponding to each row now just change the caption click on the save button so now if you run this application you will see the data the table will be there and the data will be populated automatically now you see the table has been populated this is we made this edit table but still i am not going to i am not able to edit the columns or rows so it is because this is the output text variable so what i am going to do i am going to replace this first name last name and age column with the input box so i will search input text and then drop this on input text then again input text on that last one last last name and then again i'll say input number on the age now if you will run this you will be able to add it you see that oh i hope this edit mode is not enabled okay so basically this row edit is enabled so what i have to do just select this table and click on that code so here you will notice the three template has been created one is first name last name and then age so what i have to do is i have to replace this current dot data to current dot row dot first name and then we have to change this big bracket with this bracket curly braces now just now just copy this and then right and then again just replace this and then here you will say last name and then age also you have to remove this read only property this is because you are not able to edit the rows now 
just run this integration again. So you see, now you are able to add it, but you will not be able to save record into the database. Now, now just go back to the Visual Builder and go to the design. Here we have to add a event on this save button. Just say, click on the save and click on that event and add the action event here. Now what I am going to do is I am just going to drop this call rest endpoint action. And here what I will do, I'll select an endpoint, will select the patch endpoint and this select here you need to assign the employee id just click on this and here on this employee id just take this variable which we create not this one uh this one and here data then item zero and here you will select this id to employee id here you will notice this is zero zero means that the only first row always now i need a current row so what i will do i'll just add this current here and then we'll take this one and then put here and i'll say index so that way it will take the current row always right just copy this and then save now just now I need to map body as well. Just click on this and here I'll say this thing data and then item zero to body. Then again, I will replace zero to this current index. Now just save. Now I'll just say uh, fire action. Here I will just put record updated successfully and i will say it is transient and then it will be of info type so this is how we can make it editable now go back to the designer and run your application now you see the application has been executed successfully now just try to update something i will say the age is 50 and then i can say Ali and then click on a save. You see the record updated successfully. Go back and just refresh. You see the last name and the age has been updated. Just try to edit other records. I'll say Hussain. Now I'll say age is 41. Now just click on a save button. You see, record updated successfully. Go back to the uh, this employee and just refresh. You see, the record has been updated. So this is how you can make a editable uh, table into the Visual Builder. Guys, I hope you like the video. If you like the video, please like, comment, and share. All please and please subscribe my channel to get latest video directly in your inbox. You can see me over LinkedIn, Twitter, Facebook, Pinterest. You can see my blogs https colon slash Thank you for watching the video. Have a good day. Bye bye.